Welcome back everybody. So in this video we're going to go up to uh, the food plot that I have up here at our gas well piece. We've had a woodchuck issue in there and uh, we're going to see if we can't take out a woodchuck. Wink wink, we take out a woodchuck with the uh, 300 wind mag. I wasn't messing around when I went up there. I wanted to make sure we get these chucks killed. But uh, anyways, I, I want to thank a few people on the channel uh, just for being really super kind. Uh, I received something in the mail the other day from a guy by the name of Matt Wise from Oil City, Pennsylvania, and he actually made me this really cool powder horn. Uh, he carved all that in there, Cliff Bailey with the KEO symbol, and uh, the barbed wire around the bottom, and uh, he put pinned this uh, wooden base in there, and then he actually braided the string to hold it and uh, this pops right off the top here for your powder just like that and this is really cool on the back side he uh, carved that bear in there and he referred to uh, in the letter that he sent with it as the bear that was looking over the brush uh, last year uh, I believe on October 5th when I killed my bear with a bow and I had walked in on the gator path that day I got to where the gut pile was of the doe that I had shot the day before and this bear was standing over the brush looking at me and uh, that's why he put that in there so really thoughtful and obviously uh, Matt spent a lot of time on this and he did an absolutely awesome job you know gifts like this uh, this isn't something that you could you could just buy you know this is special he carved uh, did a lot of carving on it too as you can see it almost looks like a rattle from a rattlesnake on the end of it there but he actually has his own youtube channel too it's called wise guys outdoors i'll put the name of it right at the base here and uh if you guys want to go check out his youtube channel and uh at the very least you could tell him thanks for me on there <laughs> Uh, really, really kind gesture, and I appreciate it. And the other guy I want to say thanks to is uh, Jason K. He drove all the way out here with uh, RL26 powder, which I needed for the load that I'm working up with my 6.5 to go elk hunting. And uh, I couldn't find that powder anywhere. And he actually messaged me from the post that I put on YouTube and said that he had a bottle of it and he'd be willing to part ways with it. And he literally wouldn't take any money for it at all. I met him. Uh, in town and really really good guy and you know it's really nice to meet people like that because in the, today's day and age uh, it just feels like you know there there's very few really good people and genuine people out there and uh, you know Jason K is just one of those guys that you know went way out of his way to bring me some powder didn't know him from Adam and uh, he wouldn't take any money for it at all so I forced him to take one of my hats but you know I really appreciate that Jason and uh, you know, if I if I put a big elk on the ground in New Mexico uh, using that powder, you'll have uh, something to do with it. So I'm still working up a load for that for that 6.5 right now. But uh, thanks, and let's get to this woodchuck kill. I think I got one of them buggers finally. He's been sitting here for quite a while waiting for him to come out. There's been a couple woodchucks just decimating that plot and we can't have that so I'm gonna sit here a while longer before I go down there and see if any of the other ones come out. Well, I've been sitting here for quite some time waiting for another woodchuck to come out and we haven't had any luck, so we're going to go see if we got that little woodchuck that was sitting on that rock, or next to the rock on the other side of the food plot. There's certainly some really big ones that I would, I would like to get killed up here, so I might come back tomorrow evening after work and try it again, but uh, let's go see if we got this one. Well, 
I was sitting right up there on top of that hill watching down in here and there's just woodchuck holes all over the edge of this food plot down here. And uh, the chuck that I shot at was right over here on this rock. Oh, we got him. I can see him laying there. He is very dead looking. Well, he lost his mind. See the blood splatter right there behind where he was. So that chuck lost his mind. Boy, I ripped a, ripped a, his skull plate. His head's pretty much gone. That round hit him pretty hard, I'd say. YouTube ain't gonna like this one, but the hell with him. Whatever. I wish we would have got a few more of them, but we'll come back tomorrow and uh, see if we can find some more.